Hello friends, this is State Rep Misha Maynard of District 56. Let's talk about energy burden. When you take your mean household energy bill and divide it by your mean household income, you get your household's total energy burden. Whoa, that is a lot of information at once, I know, so let's break it down. Energy burden is the chunk of your monthly income that goes towards paying for energy or electricity. If more than 6% of your income goes towards your energy bill, that is not affordable. But why does this matter? Imagine having to choose between eating and turning on the heat, or having a home without lights at night because your paycheck isn't enough. This is the reality in thousands of homes across the district. This means children are doing homework without lights or not doing homework at all. In medicine, or food that requires refrigeration is not in a working refrigerator. Who is most affected by this? Over half of District 56 has an unaffordable energy burden. This in turn affects the youth and our future. Kids living in houses with high energy burden have obstacles that others don't, and this keeps them from achieving their true potential in school and work. So why does this really happen? The three main factors are low wages, unemployment, and unskilled labor. This could be due to lower high school graduation rates and a lack of preparation for the workforce. On top of this, there's things like high insurance and utility costs, more kids in the household, and skyrocketing housing costs. We also deal with an energy monopoly, so these issues are tougher than ever. So what are we going to do about it? In 2021, I created an authority called the Fulton Technology and Energy Enhancement Authority, or FTA for short. We are focused on relieving energy burden by providing workforce development in technology, working on our community, and even producing our own energy. I am so excited to speak more on the authority later. Until next time, this is Rep. Misha Maynard, and this video was brought to you by the People's Movement.